Hi, my name is Cameron Ning, and I'm a second year structural engineer, also the PR chair for SCSE. Hi, everyone. I'm Arthur Kwong. I'm also a second year structural engineering major, and I'm the social chair for SCSE. First and foremost, we want to congratulate the incoming new Tritons on choosing structural engineering here at UCSD. And we're sorry we can't have you visit the campus because of the coronavirus pandemic, but your safety is our top priority. So we're giving this presentation to you virtually. There are so many great things about our major that we would like to share, one of them being a student organization, the Society of Civil and Structural Engineers. So most organizations, whether they be social, cultural, or professional, have what are called general body meetings, or we call them GBMs. We have about three of these GBMs a quarter as a way for us to all meet, and the purpose is to introduce the major and profession to structural engineering majors. And being a professional society, we host GBMs that provide career skills. As you can see, like right here, we have a resume workshop builder to boost your resume skills. But most of the times, we have a professional speaker from industry come in and give a presentation about their line of work. They usually talk about like what it's like to work in their companies and how they got there, whether it's structural design with like ACOM or aerospace structures with like defense corporations like North of Grumman. And they usually stay to answer questions and then take our resumes in case you wanna like get an internship or something. So joining a first year also sees some benefits. We have a subsidized first year membership. So all the first years, all you incoming, you guys don't have to pay for your membership, which is usually $40. And there's always free food. So if you always come, if you come in, like you're gonna get dinner. Next slide. Uh, another thing we offer is SE Day. Uh, SE Day is our own career fair hosted by SCSE, and we cater to structural engineering students like ourselves by inviting engineering and construction firms to recruit our members. Uh, this is an amazing opportunity to find internships and jobs after graduation, since you'll be meeting company representatives face-to-face -face, rather than trying to apply online. Uh, this year, we had over 45 companies attend, bringing many job opportunities with them. And additionally, starting this year and uh, onwards, we also have a professional photographer there to take uh, professional looking headshots of everyone who attends, which can then be used for LinkedIn or other uh, networking opportunities in the future. Okay, another thing we have is Sidekicks Mentorship Program. Uh, Sidekicks is a program that we have to help establish social connection throughout college. Usually the upperclassmen will be paired with an underclassman like a first or second year to guide them, give them help on like what classes to take, or hand down resources, like my big gives me textbooks and study guides, or even just go on socials with. So you can see uh, Arthur over here, young Arthur with his big, and here's me with my big, NJ. And um, personally, it's been a really great experience being like a part of like the bigs and littles program, this mentorship program, because I would not be like as close to these upperclassmen as I would have been. And they've offered me so much guidance and being a first gen college student, like my parents know nothing about college. So they always guide me and help me, tell me what to do and like fast and all that. So it's, it's really cool. I highly recommend it. Uh, another thing that we do, uh, since I'm the social chair, uh, shameless plug, but our socials are a casual way to have fun and relax and meet other structural engineering students. Uh, I know I've met, I met Cameron through a social one time last year, and uh, I met a lot of my friends in the major through socials. It's a good way to get to know people. Uh, some of the things that we do is our annual bonfire, a ping pong tournament, pizza parties, and a bunch of other fundraisers. And uh, there's a really fun way to get to know people outside of the classroom because class can be stressful sometimes. And um, it's just a good way to bond with your own classmates as well. Yeah, just another add on to that. I know all of like the second years right now, we're all super tight knit. We all study together and stuff. And we all go to these socials. And it's really a great experience. And also, there's food there too. So usually there's always food that we go and eat together. So yeah. I mean, if you're at the very least hungry, you can go out. <laughs> okay, community service. We, have also, we also have tons of opportunities to give back to the community. We have community service events throughout the year to help promote engineering. Our biggest one is our Esperanza trip. You can see here in this picture. Here we take a trip down to Mexico and we build homes for the less fortunate community. And it's a super humbling experience, doing good for the world. And you also gain construction experience at the same time because you're building a house for someone, you know, mixing concrete, you know, doing the heavy duty work. And it's really cool. But we also have a ton of outreach to schools. In order to inspire kids to produce, pursue STEM careers, we have a thing called seismic outreach. And Arthur will talk about that in the next slide. Yeah. 
So Seismic Outreach is another community service program, but this one's aimed towards elementary school kids. Uh, we usually invite kids to come learn more about engineering and how earthquakes can affect structures. Uh, the kids will come in and use Connect to design and build a structure and then test their design in an earthquake simulation using our shake table. And so this is another fun and rewarding way to get back to the community while also getting kids interested in STEM and especially structural engineering as a career path for them in the future. All right, PSWC. Um, the Pacific Southwest Conference, also called PSWC, is our main spring quarter event, and many of us look forward to it like for the entire year. It's our highlight event where we attend conference with 18 other student orgs from the ASCE, or American Society of Civil Engineers, and uh, local schools from like Southern California go out to as far as like Arizona, Nevada, Hawaii. We all compete in these like various events. We have technical events that pertain to civil engineering, like transportation, surveying, timber design, all that. We have sports like basketball. That's the one that I usually do. Volleyball, soccer, and our main project teams. We'll talk about that more later, but some schools we'll see there is like UCLA, Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, University of Arizona, Cal State Fullerton, et cetera. So here are the main project teams that run all year to compete at PSWC or in their respective competitions in the spring. Each has their respective project managers, leads, and members. They're each like their own little org, but they're all under SCSE. So Concrete Canoe is one of our big project teams in which we design and build a 20-foot canoe out of concrete and race it against other schools at PSWC. And uh, this is a great way to get hands-on experience working with concrete in a team-based atmosphere. And also, you gain a lot of valuable experience to put on your resume because many companies out there are very aware of this competition. And many folks that work in industry have done this themselves in, in, in college. And so uh, it's a very practical way to practice your engineering skills and try to learn and land that first internship. Steel Bridge. Now, Steel Bridge is my project team, and I'm also the finance lead for them. It's been such an amazing experience being a part of Bridge. The goal of Bridge is to design a 20-ish foot steel bridge to the parameters of a new set of rules each year and make it so it's easily constructed like on site using like hand tools. And it also has to withstand a lot of load. This takes an entire year of design, logistics, and ordering steel and fabrication, as well as practice in constructing the actual bridge. We get to learn how to use machine equipment, like very large machines used to cut steel, like mills, lays. This is a drill press right here. And uh, band saws. When I joined the first year, it's what made me feel like an engineer because I got to go and compete at PSWC in the construction team. Like you can see me right here. And uh, yeah, it was my, the best experience I had my first year at PSWC. And it was really rewarding getting to compete with the bridge that we all worked so hard for, that everyone helped design, we helped fabricate, and then competed with. And uh, yeah, it's once in a college tenure experience, in my opinion. And our last uh, major project team we have is Seismic Design. Um, they construct a five foot wood balsa tower and they compete against other schools at their annual Seismic Design competition. Um, this tower is then loaded with a bunch of dead weight up to about 20 pounds and then placed on a huge shake table to simulate an earthquake. And so this is another way to gain working experience of design analysis software, such as uh, SAP 2000 and Revit. Yes, those are the project teams. And that's our pretty much our presentation. So here are some ways to get involved. Our Facebook group is a really good way to stay informed because in college, Facebook is used like extensively just because of how much stuff we can do. You know, you'll, you'll see like events here, like what time everything is, where everything is, you know, when the new college year starts, you can contact, you can contact us directly. There's our emails right there. Um, don't, don't feel weird. We're pretty cool. <laughs> I yeah. think, um, here's the SESC Instagram and you can just yeah, see our, be sure to follow the Instagram. Instagram. Yes. Yes. And you can message us on anything, whether it be Facebook messenger, Instagram DMS, anything like that. But Following our Facebook should be the main way of like you knowing what's going on. There's some other emails, some other stuff like that. You can find everything there. So yes, thank you so much for listening to our presentation and we hope we see you soon. And congratulations again on choosing structural engineering at UCSD, the best school on the planet.